Hey guys, welcome back to part two of maintaining your guitar. In the last uh, part, I showed you how to uh, clean and oil the fretboard. Um, in this part here, we're going to string it up. This will be a kind of a short video. It don't take much to string up a guitar. But there's some things that I did want to show you guys and that you need to keep in mind. Now, this is, this is a, something I do. It's not something that you have to do. But when I pull out these end pins, I make sure they go back exactly where they were when they came out. The one for the first string always goes to the first string. The one for the second string always goes with the second string and on and on. So that's something I do. And uh, I think it helps the guitar. I, can't, I don't have no proof of that, but you know, I think it, it just works better that way. All right, guys, the first thing I'll do is find my, my E string, put it down in the hole, bring it up to where I can see it. And I use the pin with the slotted side facing the string, push it down and hold it tight. And I'll pull it tight just like that. And as you, once you put the string on, just keep sure you keep checking this, make sure it stays pulled down because it'll pull it up when you start putting tension on, okay? That's the first thing you do. All right, guys. So I've got a couple of strings on there to uh, make sure that I've got everything, my ducks in a row, and how I explain how to do this. Um, I'll talk to you about having your pegs, how to put your pegs into your bridge. So what I did, what I do is I'll pull the string tight once I've got it in there. Now what I'll do is go the distance of one tuning key peg to the next tuning key peg when I cut these. But on this one, I'm just going to go to the end of the headstock here and cut it. You don't have to be like real precise or nothing like that. So then I'll take it about a half inch, something like that, and put a 90 degree bend in it, just like that. I don't know if you can see that. And then I'll put it in the hole. And I'll hand tighten it first. Now I'm a big fan of what they call the over and under locking system. First time I'll go over the part of the string that's sticking out the hole, I'll go over the top of it. But after that, I'll go under it. And that locks it between the strings. And I've been doing it that way for years. It's my favorite way. I've done the, the you know, the lock in tight where you lock it, pull the string back and lock it on top of each other. Um, I've done that too, but I, I really like this technique a lot better. Just seems to work good. And as you see, that didn't take no time to do. Uh, something I do want to uh, share with you guys is if you have these nuts on your tuning pegs, they will come loose. You need to keep those tight. Once you get your strings off, check them for tightness. Check the, the screws in the back. Make sure they're snug. Clean all this before you put your strings on because, you know, it's hard to clean it once it's dirty. But, you know, this is a pretty short video. This is, uh, it's pretty easy to string up a guitar. Just make sure to watch out for your little pegs back there, your end pins popping out while you tighten the strings. Keep those pushed down. Sometimes as time goes by, you know, you're, you'll hear them pop every now and then. It just lets you know, just, just, you know, just push them back in tight. Uh, make sure your saddle, if it's removable, is put back on right, not backwards. So you want to make sure of that for intonation. But that's pretty much it, guy. And I'll string this up today. And um, in the next video I'll try to do today also is... Um, um, how to set it up with the tools I have. Now that won't take long either because this guitar has been set up already, but I'll check it to see if anything's happened to it or anything's changed over the year. Um, another thing I want to tell you about on the body of the guitar, let's see if I can get out here where you can see it. The other day I was telling you how you can clean the fretboard, but a lot of times the finish on your guitar, you know, it has a good finish on. This is brand new. You can just use a damp, warm water rag a lot of times will just clean it you don't want to like again you don't want to soak it you just want to wipe it down get all the fingerprints off of it and stuff now some people use guitar polish i'm not a, i don't use guitar polish even though i have it uh, but i have buffed my guitars when i rebuilt my les paul i buffed it but that's how you can clean it uh, i guess a little dust in some places this one you know looks pretty good but anyway stay tuned for my next video 
on how to uh, set it up for playing. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.